to another video. Today, I'm gonna be drawing normally like I usually do. This is one of the talk looks, talk videos, where I just draw and talk. And this is a posted my chapter 2 comic. I got into a lot of things. Example on the 9th of July, the touch on the 9th of July I had to basically make an audition video, and uh, I have to draw a logo and uh, another illustration for that video. I recently finished it just now, I made another one. It's just fun. It's called the uh, Deadly Pythagoras. If you've seen it, <laughs> with that animation, I used a program called Fire Applica. It's made by the same company as uh, Medibank, Jump Paint, and Jump Paint. So. I got in, you, into using it very quickly. It took me a while to figure out how the animation worked. It's pretty quick and convenient, especially if I want to just do a little bit of ske sketching and comedy. For voice acting, I asked my YouTube buddy Scarlett Itachi to help me with some of the voices. <laughs> and, uh, Turned out very well. <laughs> Here's one clip. This is formula used to do Mikanami. <laughs> that was not my voice, but it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after finishing that video, uh, I said to the people at the talent show. us basically for the scully thought she made it and she told them that it wasn't her it was me the entire time and uh they were kind of confused because they have her number and uh they don't have my number so they contacted her and they said they're gonna actually in the live show yeah, it's gonna actually be on live on YouTube. They're gonna show that video to the entire world or the entire audience, and everyone's gonna see it. And they're gonna do some uh, video t video editing adjustments that I wasn't able to do because I wasn't able to because either I don't know, either I don't have the skills. So everything turned out well. They do a talent show every year, so. I'm Practically gonna join this uh, event every year. I'm probably gonna make a new animation. But it's very funny. Think another new thing, an update, is that before the, the normal days that I'm gonna actually post some drawing videos on my comic in the weekend. I'm gonna post a little comedy skit or some uh, bits and pieces of uh, the story I'm gonna do. It won't be spoiled because it's very far away. I just draw it. <laughs> just so you can enjoy a little bit before the full video comes out. If you're wondering what I'm drawing, I'm Tracer Kachan to draw Natsume from your card side aside. A classmate from my tuition told me, asked me to draw Todoroki Shoto, Todoroki, Todoroki Shoto, I think, yeah. He asked me to draw that dude, and uh, I didn't want to put zero effort into it, so I basically drew another fan up to make myself motivated. The guy's hair was complicated, let's just say. It's gonna be another clip. Also, arguing with which outfit I want to use for Natsume, she has a lot of outfits, and they're all pretty. 
I like how they have a, like a color scheme for each of them, and uh, they seem very comfy, especially the summer school uniform. I'm not critiquing anything, but like the skirt is pretty long. It past me and uh, I don't really wear sh 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 skirts that aren't past the knee and if they are I just wear some uh, trousers underneath them <laughs> so I like it I like its coverage not so many's hair I was I, I am actually very good at drawing out some of his hair, just braids and the bangs. But the thing is, I done this right after my Pythagor Deadly Pythagoras comedy skit, and most of the characters actually had their hair covering their eyes. And then I had this habit after that that every time when someone like has a lot of bangs, they cover their eyes now because I've been drawing that a lot. So I I. Unintentionally made Nasme's hair cover her eyes, but in reality, the bangs aren't really that long, so <laughs> my bad. I wanted to draw like the Yokai Detective Agency, but I didn't get a full picture, so I just drew some random background that I can imagine what it looks like because <laughs> I didn't get a reference, so I just made up what the heck I want. The bow. Um, I feel like it's kind of uneven because the hand is covering it a little. I wanted to try and draw Natsume in her own eye style, but it didn't really work for me, so I just drew my own eye style and see how it turned out. The style that they're using in the anime doesn't really have that much eyelashes, and mine doesn't either. It's the average eyelashes for all my girl characters are like three, but if they're a fancy character, they have like multitudes of eyelashes, or if it's just a fancy event, such as a wedding party or anything, they have a lot of lashes. <laughs> so it just depends on the character and the event. So, I can't really put a random character a lot of eyelashes without a simple reason. This time out feature is making it this more convenient to make videos now. Because I can finish it and just upload the video and stuff, like having a lot of uh, lags in the browser screen recorder. The pictures that I used for references for coloring weren't very good because they were kind of low quality and it wasn't really helping. So I had to choose some colors on my own. I feel like Natsume turned out very pretty in this uh, picture. Now, I really want to draw her again, but kind of a normal, natural pose. It's because this is just like you take a photo and she's posing or something. Her normal poses. And if you're wondering why the heck I didn't draw the Elder Watch, that's probably before she got it. Because <laughs> I don't really want to draw that one the watch because it's very complex <laughs> unlike the others but Natsume is pretty it's turned out very well I feel like I like Natsume more than Nate <laughs> because Nate hates himself because he's average uh, that's a good f like that. F that's one very uh, no f norm It's like a normal flow for every character. And that's me. She took the averageness from her dad. It just makes like she just looks pretty. I like how she's like a merger of all, not just Nate and Kei, but like her other family relatives, such as uh, her grandparents and great grandparents. So like, she's pretty, she's a very pretty girl. Don't mind if she becomes popular with the guys. <laughs> Just, averageness helps. <laughs> 
This next picture is the ending screen that you saw for the past two top comedy skits. If you haven't seen it, it's like this. Yep, I used that this uh, picture for that. For the most of the sketching, I used Medibank to sketch. Actually, no, I didn't. I used the fire applicator. What I noticed this fire applicator has a lot of brushes that are very good, but the and free. So I need to like download most of them and put them in Medibank, but I'm not really bothered. The outfits, if you want these outfits where I got them from, I was basically doing an outfit study, so I uh, picked some random outfits from Pinterest and just drew them. The one that Mariam is wearing is a pretty common outfit that I draw in my sketchbook, but I haven't actually coloured it yet. And uh, the plushie. If you're wondering why he's kind of, like, isn't it kind of suspicious the fact that she's holding a plushie of uh, Yasha? <laughs> I didn't really know because I was a fan of, like, I'm um, a fangirl. Whoa, here's my OC. Don't mind. <laughs> so, I've been thinking of making plushies of uh, my characters someday. But the thing is, I can't really make them right now because they cost a lot. And uh, I don't have that much cash. <laughs> I haven't really reached a thousand uh, subscribers in order to get paid for my video so I can uh, go and like make some new stuff for my uh, YouTube channel because in the YouTube algorithm for you to get paid you have to reach a thousand subscribers not get a copyright strike and uh, get an audience in the channel so these pe people are watching, make sure to subscribe so I can like revolutionize my uh, channel to a way people like it. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm also making a traditional part of uh, my pictures where I basically just take a pencil and a pen and just draw. Because I'm going. I'm actually gonna get a camera sooner or later, like after summer, holi summer holidays. We're gonna have a little shopping spree, and uh, I can uh, buy myself a camera and some equipment for my channel. <laughs> so, might have some new content after that. The thing I don't like drawing digitally is because the thing is, I really want to just show you some of my traditional work because I normally draw the traditional drawings more than my digital ones because I have, it's a lot of work to actually draw a digital picture like you have to turn on the laptop, open the program, all of that. And it isn't really portable because you have I have to either have it on my phone or another device so I can show it to others. But um when it's traditional it's very portable and I can show it to everyone <laughs> so that's why I like traditional drawing a little bit more than uh, digital drawing anyway the inking stage is very satisfying to watch on the time lapse because it's so smooth and so uh, fragile <laughs> Everything's cleaned up, no sketchiness, anything. I also feel the base colors, just the satisfaction of feeling, fitting the colors and just clicking feels relaxing. Honestly, just depends on the characters because in my sketchbook, I have the freedom to draw how many characters I like because nothing's gonna happen if I draw it. Like, no lags, it's just gonna be. A little bit, a lot of people to color, but other than that, there is no lagging, no uh, problems drawing a lot of characters on the paper. But on the computer, since my computer can't really handle a certain amount of characters in the paper on the canvas, so I uh, my maximum amount is either six, and special in special occasions where I have to draw a poster of some sort. 
I uh, draw like at least 20 characters because <laughs> I have a lot of characters. So I'm pretty limited to my choices. Yeah. I've been in the peak of my curiosity, trying new things a lot. I'm also trying to trying to uh, theorize what's gonna happen in the next uh, few horror games that I wanna play. I not wanna play. I do wanna actually play them someday, but I'm not right now. Because, uh, the story is reaching up to the peak on both horror games. Especially Poppy Playtime, because a lot of stuff actually happened, and uh, there's going to be a chapter 3. I'm not really sure if that's going to be the last chapter, because there's a lot of secrets, and a lot of, uh, story lore, so... Like, I can expect at least five, or four at least, but I can't really jump into predictions. But Undertale, I uh, prepared the thumbnails, the footage and everything just due to being busy with my comic and all of this stuff. I wasn't able to finish it. But I'm trying to actually play the genocide route in my free time to see what's gonna happen and uh, what was gonna happen to my device because I'm kind of scared. Apparently, your your phone gets corrupted or your device gets corrupted after you complete the genocide route. So, <laughs> kind of scared. Here's the sketch. The sketch. It's actually, this isn't for me, this is uh, for Scarlett Itachi's uh, audition video for the talent show. I wanted to basically draw her picture for, like, her audition video to make it more interesting and do some video editing. I just drew the picture. And yeah, hurry up and actually do the other effects because it's on the twenty do the twenty ninth of July, so I have to uh, actually get the effects ready. But sh she's gonna actually sing a song. Well, I'm just gonna draw. <laughs> I'm actually not being insane. I'm not on the same event. It's just I'm not. I have my own event. Thank you. So that's just a little see just singing. I thought this idea where basically I do like most of the, the sound effects they do on uh, YouTube. I uh, make something like that. I don't actually get a lot of questions in my uh, YouTube feed. It's not like I want to. I don't really mind. You can ask away. But in real life, I get asked a lot, <laughs> especially if people ask me like if this is indeed a one-man team project because I normally do these projects on my own if I at least need someone to help me it's either like the voice acting but that's pretty much it all the illustration, planning, writing, uh, editing it's all done by me Sometimes people can't really believe that. I'm not trying to brag, and I'm kind of surprised. Like, what's the good doing a project all by yourself? So, that's why. Okay, over. <sighs> like, don't know how to answer that question. And uh, I was also being told that I should like get paid for my projects. And since the fact that I don't just buy myself, it might cost a lot more than it should be. I don't mind making my stuff free because I just want people to enjoy it. But it's not that I don't like charging people. Is because I don't really know what's worth the thing I am charging. I 
have to just choose a random pri price now, but just say it's this much pounds or whatever currency you're using in your country. But like, I can't really find the price by myself after someone else who's in profession is like that. <laughs> So I might need help. Like I need, I might need help uh, finding prices for my projects in the future, especially when I'm gonna make a merch store sooner or later. Fun fact: I'm actually gonna make a merch store, and uh, you can uh, buy some of my merch when uh, it's ready. Cause I had problems opening it because I didn't have an account. I think things have changed right now. I'm gonna actually make a merch store, but I feel like I, I need it to be a little bit more popular. My store needs to have a little bit of a fan base, so I can't really make a merch store immediately. <laughs> so I just have to deal with the fact I need to wait until it becomes popular. I don't really mind the wait. Coloring. Since her hair is actually showing, there's a lot of shadows. Because my characters, some of them, my hair is covered, so I don't really show most of the shadow face. The fish face the shadows on the face because there aren't really that much shadows on the face. <laughs> so I just have to deal with that. The uh, picture I did for my anniversary, that video was pretty popular, so I think I'm enjoying like. Molly am again with her hair open with a different kimono or another outfit as a speed paint probably for my second anniversary who knows who knows I still want to practice drawing her hair a little bit more and if you enjoy it I might do it on YouTube here's a, a poster I'm trying to do after listening to some uh, fan made opening from the tail. The same outfits I drew last time, but they're more in anime form now. This is cleanup. Because I noticed that it doesn't lag in cleanup, it just lags when I sketch. So I just uh, prepared my sketch already. I'm gonna draw these outfits more. I just need to know which season this is gonna be because I have. Occasionally, every season they have a new outfit. It's easy for me to organize it like that. I like how I was just wearing a custom comb, while this guy over here is just wearing a Sherlock Holmes ripoff costume. Honestly, I could have made the coat short, oh, but this uh, picture I take to show by uh, animal or sea called Yamiron. He's a the dark dragon. Is a new one. I just uh, made. I have trouble drawing dragons, but they turn out turn out decent in the end. But I should draw them all. So I can like draw them the same way I draw humans. <laughs> I wanna try and don't do those types of illustrations where basically every of the main cast they have their own colours and uh, they presented them their own colour. I get cut a lot. I get cut a lot because of this. Oh stop happening right now. I'm sure the experiment trying different trousers that are patterned because Joseph's trousers like is like those farm bar ones. I think I got a good idea how I shade them. I used to like shade patterns if there were stripes separately so it can like blend in, but at the same time, I just shade the entire clothing. It's normal. If you don't know the background, there's basically on the open roof sort of thing. I can't try and draw a cross gate because I was doing this last night and I just wanted to get it fin finished. Okay, I started shading. 
didn't really take that long because the clothes are pretty simple. I tried to put my shoe skills to the test. Start really enjoying sneakers and all that. I just draw some flats, boots, or anything that's related to shoes. Just draw them. Anyway, the face that I was talking about, I really want to animate something like that. Honestly, I don't have the time. But at least I can make some comedy skits to entertain you while I'm at it. <laughs> I have a lot of ideas to put in that comedy skit. The videos are pretty short, they're just like at least one minute or two minutes long, so it isn't really gonna take that long, as in that. as in like very long torch unless I compile everything. Hey. Here's all the pictures I drew today. Sorry if I can sit me seem very tired. I just wanna sleep. <laughs> but I just woke up. Not the time this video was posted, but like, it's very afraid. I can't really go to sleep right now. <laughs> yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching this speed paint of drawing four pictures after a long time. I'll see you next time in another video.